Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I truly appreciate you joining me. Today's video is the Gift of Bag Journal Collab. This collab was created and thought of by my sweet friend Kelly over at KS Designs. Kelly contacted me and asked if I would help out and be her co-host. On March 22nd, we did our introductory video where we introduced what we were thinking of and we also asked for participants. And on Sunday, March 26th, we made our selection. So in the description box below, I'm going to have a list of participants. And uh, click on those videos and see what everybody else is uh, working on and what they're doing to put their gift bag journal together. I'm inserting this short video clip to make a correction. So as I'm recording my video, I gave the incorrect dates. So today is April 4th and that is our process video showing what we're working on and how we're putting our gift bag journal together. Our final uh, video, which is our final flip through showing off the final result of our gift bag journal is May 2nd, May 2nd. On April 4th will be our final video, which will be our collaborator's second video. This is where you show off your journal. You do a final flip through. So I'm really excited to see what everybody else has been working on. All right, so what I'm gonna share with you right now is what materials I'm gonna be using to create this gift bag journal. So to start off, obviously, I'm going to be using gift bags. I'm going to be using two of these gift bags. I got these from Hobby Lobby when they were on clearance for 75% off. And I'm just using the brown paper bag ones. And what I'm going to be doing is using two of these for sections of signatures. So these are going to be my um, signature sections. And I'm going to be folding them like this. I will be removing the handle. And then I am going to be doing a lot of artwork on here and I'm going to be painting all of this with acrylic paint. So let me show you the paint I'm going to use or the colors I'm going to use. I'm going to use a purple. I'm going to be using kind of this turquoise color. I'm going to be using, uh, let's see, oh here's my red and this is all acrylic paint. Then I'm also going to use a touch of brown. And then to kind of give it highlights and stuff, I'm going to use this copper color uh, glitter glue. And this is by Crafter Square. Got that from Dollar Tree. Really pretty. And then I'm going to also use some Mod Podge to kind of uh, seal everything up. Um, so that's how I'm going to decorate, if you would, uh, this uh, two paper bags. The paper that's going to go inside my journal come from old uh, photo albums. And I got these photo albums from the thrift store and it had really vintage looking paper inside. Now this, these were photo albums where you just kind of taped on your photos. And so I found one that had this purple hue and this brown. So I already cut these pages down to size and these are the off cuts. So these are the pages that are going to go in the journal, like the writing pages. For embellishments and creating pockets and stuff like that, I have a book that I found at the thrift store. I loved it. I love the feel of the pages. I love the color of the pages and the theme. And I'm going to show you just a few a lot of them just have images of birds and the scenery. So I cut out a lot of the birds for the pictures and stuff like that. So there's one page. Let me see if I have some more pages to show you. See, it's an, there's another page. Oh, here's another one. So those are some of the pages that I'm using. Not these particular ones, but pages out of this book. And again, it has a really thick textured feel to it. So I used that book and I don't have the cover because I've already used it as a pocket. Um, for the, uh, let's see, let's show you some other paper I'm using. So I'm using the paper bags as the main signatures and within that signature, I hope this makes sense, 
I have some other pockets and I'm using this cardstock. And again, this is just off cuts, but I'm going to be using that to create pockets. So the main pocket. I'm also using this cardstock. So you see the purple and the teal. And then this uh, paper or cardstock. And that's the red. So those are my main colors that are going to be going in this journal purple, teal, and red. And then for just to uh, highlight everything, I have this copper cardstock. And you can see I cut some feathers or die cut some feathers out of there. So these are the dies that I'm using. Kind of jump around and show you what I'm using. These are the dies that I'm using to embellish. So I got those. All right, let me continue on with some of the cardstock. I think, let's see if I showed you. I did show you this. This Oh, this is another cardstock that I'm using. And in my final flip through, all of that should make sense. Um, I also got another cardstock. So I'm going to kind of show you what I did. So I got this cardstock and I did some paint splatter on it. I did the teal and the red and I think a little bit of brown. So that's how one side of the page is going to look like and this is what the other side of the page is going to look like something to that effect um and then here's another piece of that so all of these off cuts are going to become tags they're going to become journaling cards so i save those so like this would be a great journaling card so that's another card stock i used uh let's see four okay showed you the paint um for some of the distressing, I have some distress ink, and I'm using, let me see if I can take these apart, I'm using this purple. And I don't, I can't read the names, but I'm going to show you them. I'm using this teal color. And I'm using this particular red. Again, I stick with those three colors and then the copper as a highlight. Um, speaking of copper, I am using this ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. Not this time around when they had their clearance sale, but a while back. And it's this metallic ribbon. That is what is going on the edge of my pockets and tuck spots, just as a highlight. So I'm using some of that. Uh, let's see. For like embellishing, I'm using these stickers that I got from Dollar Tree. You see how they have like the feathers and it's not really a Native American thing, but it's kind of turning out a little bit like that. So I'm using those to embellish the pages, pockets and stuff like that. So I'm using those. Uh, let's see. For the writing pages, I always like to put a little image on the bottom. And what the images are on some of the pages is a feather. And then on some of the other images is this bird. And then when I'm going to be creating uh, tags and um, journaling cards, I'm going to use these stamps. I've had these stamps in my stash for quite a while. These are really pretty ones. And there's two of them. I don't know if they're a set or not, but look how pretty those are. So I'm going to stamp those out and do journaling cards or tags. I have also pulled out this stamp set that I got from, the, from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be using these as well to create tags and journaling cards. So I have those set aside. I haven't done any of the stuff that goes in the pockets yet, like cards, tags, journaling cards, or anything like that yet. I'm still working on that. All right, let me see what else. Well, to create the front and back cover, I have matte board because it's going to be a hard cover. And some more paper. Hard cover, and this is matte board that someone gifted to me. I have it in my stash. It's going to be a lot smaller than this. I do have to cut it down to size. And it's going to be um, just slightly bigger than my signatures. So let me pull out my bag, kind of fold it, pretend that the handle isn't there. This is going to be a signature. And so 
I'm going to cut my mat board basically the same height, just slightly uh, taller, just slightly taller, just so uh, kind of like that. You see a little bit of the mat board down there, and it's going to be about that same, maybe a quarter inch or something like that. And that's going to be the cover. And then I'm going to go slightly uh, longer this way with the cover. So that's how I'm going to do it. And this is going to be the signature. I have two signatures in this journal. So I have two pieces of mat board. And look what happens to be on the opposite side. Purple! So I may not have to cover this. I would just embellish this. I don't know yet. I don't know. I might do a little splatter or uh, add some of that copper uh, glitter glue to kind of embellish it. I'm not sure. So that's going to be the front and back cover and a piece of this because it is a lot, lot um, bigger. I have more mat board that I'm going to do maybe a two and a half inch spine out of mat board. And then to cover the front and back cover, this is the material I'm using and I'm so excited. Someone gifted this to me and this is where I got the inspiration for the colors of the a journal look at this fabric again this is going to be on the back front and back covers of my journal again you have the purple the teal and the red in there and maybe a touch of brown so that's how i pulled in uh the colors that i'm using on the other pages so I need to cover those. And then for the, um, see if I have a piece of that here. For the uh, spine, I'm going to be doing a red, dark, dark red vinyl. So I don't have that right with me, but I want to tell you what I'm covering the spine with. I haven't figured out the uh, journal plate or the book plate yet or any of the embellishments for the plate. I am going to be using, let's see if I have them nearby. I have a basket where I keep things. Um, I am going to be using some of these, um, let's see, what are these called? Uh, linkable binder clips. I am going to be using, I think, three of these, the copper, the purple, and the teal. And these were recently gifted to me, so this was perfect timing. So I'm going to be using these to hang stuff off the signatures or pages of the journal. So I'm going to use that. Let me see if I have anything else in my goodie basket here that I'm going to be using. I don't have anything else in there that I am working with. So um, I think that's what I am doing. I actually do have um, most of both signatures already done uh but i don't want to reveal those yet that's going to come on april 4th when i do my final fil flip through um what i still need to do is my front and back cover um and then the inside covers and the spine uh what else do i need to do uh i have to figure out what tassel i'm going to be putting together so i haven't thought of that yet i'll probably pull out some ribbons or yarns. I'm not sure which kind of tassel I'm going to be making, whether it's a puff top tassel or a yarn beaded, beaded yarn tassel. So I'm not sure yet. There's lots more to do, but I'm really, really having a great time putting all of this together. Again, all the collaborators are going to be listed in the description box below. Go click on their video and see what they are working on and how they're putting their gift bag journal together and obviously go visit kelly's channel uh and see what she is up to also a huge thanks to kelly for asking me to be a co-host and and help out and also a big thanks to kelly for creating this collaboration this is so much fun and when she asked me to um be a co-host and be involved in in this gift of bag journal collab i was all ready thinking of working on one and so it was like oh perfect timing all right that is all i have right now for this uh video i'm truly truly grateful that you popped over and 
hung out with me for just a bit. Be safe, be happy, be positive, and until next time, you guys rock.